All right, so you get your hide back from the tannery, and you've got your projects all lined up, there's a hat you want to make, there's a muffler, or whatever it is you want to design. You need to get your hide ready for the next stage. And there's a, a couple things that you're going to need to stretch your hide. And here's what I use. I've got some, something to, to sew, to, to prepare. The first thing you do is you want to inspect your hide when you get back in the tannery. And you may notice that when you're skinning it out, or if you're not the best shot, you might end up with a couple of extra holes. And so you need to take care of those. You need to sew those shut. If you, there's a place on your hide where the, the fur has slipped just a little bit, you want to pull the leather together and sew that shut or cut out a hole and, and sew that shut. And then, um, then you're ready to stretch it. And there's a couple of reasons why you want to stretch your hide. One reason is you'll get a little bit more fur. Certainly you don't want to stretch it too much. But, so you still want to make sure the fur looks nice. But if you get something like sea otter, the, the fur is so thick, you can stretch it a little bit and that's just fine. And the other reason why you want to stretch it is, you'll notice that this, this leather is a, has a little bit of contours here and there. And that's, that's just the way it comes off the animal. When you stretch it out, it levels the whole thing, makes it nice and flat. So when you're doing your measurements, you can get nice exact precision shapes. And so your, your handicrafts will end up looking really nice. Well, now that I've sewn up all the holes, there's a couple holes here, and another hole here. I've sewn them nice and shut. The next step is to go ahead and stretch the hide. And I'll do that with this water bottle. So it doesn't matter which side you start spraying, but just start on one side. You spray until the water starts to pool. And th there was one time when I was at this place, I was showing this lady how to do this, and we didn't really have a spray bottle, so we just used a cup of water. I've done that in the past. If I couldn't find the spray bottle, just take a cup of water and just very carefully put a little bit of water on the, on the hide, but not too much so that it runs all over the side. Basically, you just want to put enough there that it will start to soak in. And if it starts to pool, by the time you get to this other end, when you're spraying, then that end will be ready to start stretching. And you may notice I'm not doing these, these edges exactly. I'm going right up to where the edges are, but that's about as far as I'm spraying. So go ahead and get the whole thing wet. And I should mention that I've, I've already um, went ahead and measured and determined that I'm going to stretch this out to 25 inches. I'm going to add a couple inches to the whole thing. Okay, so when you're stretching, normally I don't stretch it this way. I just stretch it, I pull on it, I think here's the middle, I'll go out this way, and I'll go out this way, and that's the direction I go around and making it longer. It's already long enough as it is. So really all I'm doing is making it wider and a nice flat surface to work on. And my mom was in town a couple weeks ago and she helped me. We, the two of us just grabbed onto it and pulled. That worked great. It didn't take very long. Uh, what might be ideal is if you have one of those actual fur stretchers, those tools. Um, if you're not on a shoestring budget, you go ahead and buy one of those. I don't think they're that expensive. But that works really good if you start tapping it down, you go on the other end and you pull instead of using your fingers and hands. But if you're on a budget and you don't mind a little bit of a workout, this is a great way to do it. If you just grab your pelt, you start stretching, pull, stretch, and you, as you pull on it, you'll feel it give. Just put some constant pressure on it. I heard some people say you spend like half an hour stretching. I, that might be a little bit too much. I just want to add. I just add a few inches to the whole thing. And if I if I if you've done a good job sewing it shut, don't worry too much about that because if your stitch holds and if you did a good job, your stitch will hold and you'll be just fine. Usually when I'm stretching, so I want to go to 20, 
five inches. What I'll do is I'll stretch it until when it lays down, it'll be about 24 inches. And then I'll, I'll finish off the stretch with the stapler. As I'm stapling it down, that way it'll be nice and tight. It'll shrink a little bit as it's drying, but that'll still give it a little bit of pull. No matter what, when you lay it down, there's always going to be a little bit of stretch. But it can do. Okay, let me take a measurement. See where I'm at. Just a little bit more right there. Looks like I didn't stretch it very much on that end. Right there, that's plenty. This is good practice for when you're bringing the animals and you get ready to hang them up in the field. It's a lot of hard work skinning these guys. A lot easier with two people than you can get your legs involved in it too. So that's all very stretch. I was just about to do it. So what I'll do, okay, so I start off in the middle, staple this guy down, and I'll keep one staple, one staple on the outside, one staple on the inside. Remember with leather, when you punch a hole in it, the hole's in it forever. It's not like cotton or satin or something else where you put a hole in it, you pull your needle out and the hole's not there anymore. Let's see. I only want to go to about right here. Once you get it started, then you're it's good to go. So I'll go up maybe a foot or so on each side. Do a little that last little bit of stretching. Alright, so last night we stretched this hide, and there's only one thing left to do, that's to pull the staples out, or nails, or thumbtacks, or whatever you use. I, I use staples, and so I just take a flat screwdriver, and I stick it underneath, and I pull them out. And another thing that would be handy is if you have a pair of pliers. You don't have to use them, but they, they would help. I'll do a close-up. So basically, you just want to take your, you just take your staple, your screwdriver, stick it underneath, and push up. That way you're not tearing any of the leather, putting any holes, new holes into the leather. And you do this all the way around until you have no more staples. Thanks.